Hello, I'm doing a movie review, and the movie I want to review is Lake of Dracula. Now, Lake of Dracula is a 1971 Japanese horror film directed by Michio Yatamoto and produced and distributed by Toho, and the film is a spiritual sequel to Yatamoto's 1970 film The Vampire Doll. And the movie takes ideas and plot elements from the Dracula story originated by Bram Stoker and this is the second film of what is now known as the Bloodthirsty Trilogy, which I have on this Blu-ray set from Arrow Video. Now, this shares no continuity with the first film at all. It's more of a spiritual sequel or a thematic sequel. However, the same actor who played the Renfield-like character in the first one plays a similar character in this one. Now, what the plot of Lake of Dracula is it's about this young woman who ever since she was as a child has been having this dream where she's chasing her dog through an old mansion and she comes across a vampire with horrible yellow eyes. Now, as an adult, she's not sure if this is a dream or actually a memory. But she's staying at a lake house with her sister and at a certain point in the movie, she's walking her dog and she's seeing this older guy that she knows who rents out boats and this guy gets a package delivered a Great, but he didn't order anything. Eventually, he opens up the crate and discovers a coffin, and eventually he's confronted by the owner of this coffin, a vampire, the same vampire from the main character's dream. The vampire ends up turning this guy into his familiar, his Renfield for want of a better name. But this vampire ends up going after the main character and ends up turning her sister into a vampire as well. And throughout the film, the main character and her boyfriend are trying to solve the mystery of this vampire and hopefully put a stop to it once and for all. But the vampire in the film is implied to be a descendant of Count Dracula himself. But Lake of Dracula, despite not having any continuity with the first film, it is a pretty solid follow-up to Vampire Doll, and I'm not really sure which one I liked better. I would say I liked them both equally. But right from the opening sequence, the film has this real eerie, dreamlike tone, which is set by the fact that you don't really know if the opening sequence is real or a dream. And the opening sequence of the film is honestly creepy as shit. And the main character is likable and sympathetic. And the vampire in the movie, who is basically Dracula, is actually pretty creepy and threatening. However, there is actually something kind of sympathetic about him, because later on in the film you do get this sense that he really can't control what he is. Now, Godzilla fans might recognize the actor who plays the vampire as the Interpol agent from Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. So yeah, if you like Japanese cinema, if you like vampire films, if you like Hammer films, which this movie definitely owes a lot to, I would recommend Lake of Dracula. I think it's a pretty good vampire film. So that was my review on Lake of Dracula. My next movie review will be on the third and final film of the Bloodthirsty trilogy. Evil of Dracula.